Communism is always terrible, but especially when you're playing as Britain, because it forces you to decolonize. Or does it? It certainly tries to. Today we're playing as the United Kingdom, going communist, and we're refusing to decolonize, which will result in a civil war. It's of course one of the challenges suggested by you for the almighty spreadsheet. It's not the top one, but I really wanted to do it because it seems fun. Don't worry, the points stay and increase priority. Now I'm gonna scroll down so you might want to slow the video down or pause it to read what challenges have been suggested so you can suggest your own if you want to we have over 300 suggestions active right at this moment so today the united kingdom goes communist and refuses to let go of its colonial possessions but before we begin a message from a sponsor for this video this video is brought to you by the one the only raid shadow legends the game has grown quite famous over the years that's not even the first promo i'm doing for them and i actually played the game myself before they approached me for the first time the game is quite huge it's been growing over the years and it has over 700 champions now 15 factions like dwarves elves etc i'm partial to orcs myself both pvp and pve content so you can fight other players or the challenge the game has created for you it's constantly being updated which is why you have over 700 champions now you can play it on mobile or on a pc joining over 400 million players worldwide and because the game is constantly being updated you can now fight a brand new boss Akumori, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and even made an animated series, Raid Call of the Arbiter, which you can watch on their YouTube channel. So, if this game looks like something you would enjoy, follow my link in the description or scan the QR code that you can see on the screen, and new players will get a free starter pack with all the stuff you can see on the screen, which would cost you $30 if you were to buy it, and you're getting it free. So, check the game out and help the channel. Okay, back to Altsvan, regal difficulty, Iron Man mode, historical focuses, let's go. But going communist and surviving the civil war is not the only thing we'll do. I'm also going to form the Communist Imperial Federation, which is something you don't see very often because it is not compatible with decolonization. And thus will result in a civil war. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can first go communist and secure the dominions, which is a terrible hassle because of how it's constructed, but the resulting civil war would be quite easy, only encompassing Britain. Or we can do the federation first and only then become communist and have the civil war. In that case, we will not have to bother about securing the dominions, but the civil war will be huge and encompass all the dominion territories as well. This challenge is about the civil war, so let's make it as big as possible, shall we? We'll do the change in course first and then focus on the Imperial Federation. Sieves. Sieves everywhere. We'll need them. Infrastructure and sieves. And repeat. Generic research. You can keep doing some artillery and support. Now, this course of action we're taking, political power is absolutely essential. We'll need a huge amount of it. Also, King George dies. Oh well, finish the ships and then focus on the convoys. Quest from Ethiopia, no, not interested. Now we reinforce the empire. Decolonization, civil war, yes, we're prepared for that. Rhineland and the Monterey Convention, ah yeah, we shall back the Turks. Now the question is, do we want to fight the Germans? We'll have internal stuff to deal with, but it doesn't mean we can have some fun on the side. I could also fight the United United States will have a war goal on them even if we're democratic, thanks to uh, the Mexican oil thingy. So maybe I should go after the US. They are a big prize. Let's get some troops in the field. Service overseas. This path requires us to play the long game. It's gonna take forever. Also, let's hire Philip Kerr. We need the political power he gives. Let's create a spy agency and focus on industry. Oh, I have not finished uh, the communist thingy, so we have the abdication crisis. Anyways, the king shall abdicate. Popular figurehead. Colonial elites. Operative. Of course, it's Dusko Popov. We need to gather up a lot of political power, but I think we should afford partial mobilization. Let's do that. Actually, we might want to focus on the Netherlands. We can get extra political power from the German investments, and political power is going to be very important to us. Let's actually invest in the Dutch this time around. Commonwealth ties. Portugal, sure, you can have my ships. It's gonna be a while before we fight anybody, so we can just focus on the industry. Yay, Commonwealth ties. Develop our colonies a bit. Yes, Bulgaria, you can rearm if you want. Official treaty and excavation. Develop all the colonies. I'm gonna be annexing them. Demobilize our economy. Oh, I lost war support. 
Damn it. Well, that's disappointing. And I don't think I can fix that in time. Looks like we've wasted some political power. Ooh, and they got Dusko. Spanish Civil War. Atomic research ahead of time. Yes, I know. But it'll pay for itself. Over time. One mistake so far. We should not have gone to partial mobilization. Okay, let's demobilize our economy. Such a waste. And develop Canada. Baldwin resigns. That's terrible. Well, let's just let this auto expire so we can have Baldwin work a bit more. It's tempting to hire an elusive gentleman, but we need all the political power for other stuff. Nancy, go to America. We're missing manpower. I'm gonna need to use British Raj units. Let's copy this template and switch one army to it. We're gonna be using Indian manpower. This way we'll be able to field an entire army group. What? Demobilize our economy again? Uh, oh, that's Chamberlain's fault. I hate him so much. World tension going up? Is that enough? Well, it is enough to not have to demobilize again. At least that's something. We will get more war support after the Imperial Conference, and that's when I should have gone to partial mobilization. Now, develop the Raj. Deployed all the troops. Exercise. Yes, Portugal. I will gladly sell you some ships. Let's try to rescue Dusko. Indian autonomy. Decrypt Mexico. And give me more factories. Oh, Dusko died. Well, pity. Civil war in France, really? Where's that French commune then? Oh, here. That's the entirety of the French commune. Well, I do not expect you to do well. A quick victory for France. Better competing machines. No, France, we don't care about the naval treaties. Some more industry, please. And a new operative. Infiltrate the army. Yes, Yugoslavia, I can have my bombers, and we hold the Imperial Conference. Now, in doing that, it's quite useful to just improve relations with all your dominions. And we definitely have enough political power to make everything happen. Let's research the Sten gun. It's extremely efficient to research better infantry guns early, uh, because they boost all your troops regardless of what you're using. Even tank crews have guns. No, Greece, we shall not invest. Austria is taken. The Imperial Conference requires you to debate different stuff with your subjects. To start all the discussions, it costs you 300 political power, and you can then exert the diplomatic influence of zero... 25 or 50 each. I'm just going to use the most expensive option on all of them and get the best cooperation. So we'll get some factory outputs, perhaps with the exception of trade, because this really doesn't matter very much. I just hope they agree. All right, next focus. It's finally time to start going communist. Concessions to trade unions. They accept the dominions, which is to free trade, and we get better trade relations. They'll get free trade, which is better for their development, but that's it. But I did not invest political power, and many have rejected. Right, next up, imperial economy. Let's spend a tremendous diplomatic effort. And for each that agree, we get 3% factory construction speed. And if they all agree, that's 15%. New Zealand rejects, sadly. Discuss appeasement. We get a war spot for this, so definitely want to spend political power. Rejects. That's a pity. See, 3% war spot, 6 war spot, and 9 war spot, which is significant. I can now go back to partial mobilization. But I don't want to. And finally, the Imperial Federation, the most important one, spend a humongous diplomatic effort. And they should all agree. Yeah, this one is easier to have accepted. But if even one of them doesn't accept, well, you're boned. Invest in the Dutch a bit, and that's it for the Imperial Conference. Now they will be slowly losing their autonomy until we can integrate them. I can actually construct stuff in their territory to speed it up, but the independence is going down on its own quite fast. Let's uh, go to free trade. I think it's worth it. Also, start decrypting France and Germany and the Soviet Union, just in case. We can see two trade unions, which unlocks the decisions here, which will let us turn to communism. Those requests, not very important. So we have to complete all of their demands, which will hurt us in many ways, and then we can turn communist. But first, I want to federate. Time to invest in our economy a bit. Limited rearmament. And we can already decrease the independence of New Zealand. Now, this is also something we need our political power for. Decisions in the conference, now reducing autonomy, and also demands of the trade unions. That's quite a lot. Time to promote some people. You and... Miles. Now, I don't remember which of them will be purged when the communists take over. Let's hope we're left with the better ones. I really like using Bernard. Another independence reduction. Now, we're not gonna be getting a lot from our subjects. Only once they switch to integrated puppets, we'll be getting a share of their factories. General rearmament will get British austerity, which will be helpful once we turn communist. You know, with the hunger and stuff. Reduce Canadian independence. Now, about the trade unions' decisions, we can't let this timer expire. Germany attacks Czechoslovakia. Are you at war with France as well? You are. Wait a minute. France is at war with Ethiopia. Why? That's just weird. Anyways, Czechoslovakia and France are fighting Germany. I could actually get involved and make a difference. Who's next? South Africa. No, we don't need to annex British Malaya. Oh, they got Nancy. Yes, Portugal. You can have my ships. Shadow scheme. And it's time to pass. Construction safety legislation. Luxembourg got attacked. Can you hold? 
I get the next melee, but it's just too expensive. Concentrated industry three. And oh, we're actually using garrisons. Let's make sure we use cavalry for that. And not military governors, local autonomy. That's way better. More compliance, you see. Dominion of India. Reduction to colony. Stand research is done. Invest in the industry and start producing the better guns. I no longer need to use Indian troops. I'm actually going to switch them back. Why? Well, because using them in a war against the United States, which will probably happen soon, will give India extra independence. Wouldn't want that to happen. Get in position. Exercise a bit. I need some army experience. Research slot. And it's time for some factory safety regulations. What's next? Minimum wage. That's going to be pretty bad. Now we can go to level 4 industrial stuff with the boost we got from Focus. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Actually, how are you guys doing against Germany? Should I get involved? I could involve Czechoslovakia in the war. Invite France too. Maybe I should. You know what, guys? Withdraw from the United States for now. Might actually want to kill Germany. Go back home for now. Oh, and stop with the exercise. I needed the army experience to edit the cavalry brigade and remove support from it, so the garrisons are better. Concentrated for no Turkey. If Germany attacks Poland, I might actually get involved now, because they will be overwhelmed with wars everywhere. The only problem is transferring troops to Poland before the Germans can take the ports, Royal Ordnance Factories, and some infantry boosts, as usual. New Zealand puppet. I need to bring them all down to integrated puppets, and then we can annex them with a the focus. Really, Germany's not going to be attacking Poland. Czechoslovakia is still holding strong. I made my decision. If Germany attacks Belgium and Czechoslovakia is still alive, I'm going to join in. The leap is so close to bonds with Germany, but Italy cannot join the Axis because somehow Germany is allied with Ethiopia and Italy is at war with them, which makes Germany an easy target. Yeah, I think I want to kill them. Germany attacked Belgium, and Czechoslovakia is still alive. All right, time to join in then. Invite Czechoslovakia to the faction, join their war, and Germany called in Ethiopia. Wait, can I actually get Italy on this? No. But if I had, actually, if I accepted the, the cold worms against Ethiopia first, maybe I could get Italy against Germany. Well, too late now. And next up, we invite France. And we invite Belgium. Actually, I don't need France. Belgium would be sufficient. That's yeah, fine. Let's have France help us out. They join. I'm gonna ship all my troops over to Belgium. Go, kill Germany. Miles is gonna lead here. Aggressive, offensive, charismatic. And generals. As Britain, we start with a lot of high-level generals. Should I go aggressive from the start? I probably should. We can spend the manpower. Since we're attacking, let's get the army defense expert, regrouping expert, logistics expert, and infantry expert. Let's go. Ordnance factory's done. Time for BSA or... Actually, let's do the cryptology bomb. And I forgot. Let's move my agents over to Germany as well. Fortunately, we are relatively close to decrypting them. Yeah, shadow scheme. All right, get in there quickly before Belgium falls. Actually, be cautious for now. We'll attack more aggressively once we have the cipher. And let's call in all our subjects. Get the Air Force involved. Just assign them to an army. Hmm. Actually, cautious is working. Minimum wage legislation and the best computing machine. I need a better conscription. Cyphers here, activate, and actually go aggressive now. Can you break through? Czechoslovakia going strong? Go on, get me Luxembourg. Yay, got Luxembourg. BSA company, and increase conscription. I need that manpower. I want the cipher run out. But you know, keep going on aggressive. This is working, clearly. Professional officer call, meticulous preparation. So France, would you like to give me garrison support? No. Also, France is very communist without actually being communist. Ethiopian operative. Fascist in the government. Mm, don't really want that, but it's not a problem. Sure. We are getting past German defenses. I'm sacrificing a lot of manpower to do it, but we're mobilizing more. And the cipher is here as well. Oh good, yeah, go north. Germany clearly cannot secure all these borders. Which is like France and Belgium. Can we actually get the Netherlands on our side, or is this all going to be wasted? No, I shouldn't. Don't ever invest in the Netherlands. Well, I've invested so much, it's a, uh, what's it called? Sunken cost fallacy, something like that. So I kind of want to keep investing just to make it happen eventually. That must be one of the easiest wars against Germany I've had. Also, don't really have any more focuses I want to do. Let's just get the political power. More conscription. I should really lower the independence of all these. Well, we'll soon have enough political power for everything, because we're no longer doing focuses. But I want to go to service by requirement too. Poland seeks to join the Allies. Let's have a look. Uh, the Soviet Union is just firing on Poland, but there's 100 days left. Sure, join in and help me with the Germany, and then I will abandon you to the Soviets. Now this is even easier. You know, Germany has to move some troops over to Poland, which makes them even more undefended. Here. Going aggressive is definitely justified now. We're almost in Berlin. Well, not nearly, but we did take Hamburg. Occupation of Tangier. 200 political power for a possible war goal against nationalist Spain. No, not worth it. Right, I need to leave them one thing. Otherwise they won't accept. 
Let's leave them with Rhineland and take the rest. Excellent. Now I'll have to actually use my garrisons in this. Let's do local police force. No, secret police. Oh, the Raj will give me garrison support. Excellent. Gimme. Not much to add. This is one of the easiest wars against Germany I've had ever. Partially because Italy is not involved. Fall of Berlin. Mexican oil nationalized. Interesting. I could get a war goal on the United States with this. Well, on Mexico, but the United States is guaranteeing them. However, I want to focus on internal stuff. Let's not. Best guns, please. <laughs> Belgium holds one bit. Cypher time. I could even try and defend Poland from the Soviets. Although that doesn't really seem like a good choice. Mexican compensation? Sure. Service by requirement. Why? Because it's going to be reduced later with a decision to extensive conscription, and extensive conscription is what I actually want. So this is good. Oh, and Hungary never joined the Axis. Quick and easy war. Process out of war score. That's going to be a problem. Soviet Union declared war on Poland. Actually, I'm not joining in, at least not yet. Germany dominates Dutch trade negotiations, really. Should I do something? You know, let's ignore that. We've wasted too much political power on it already, and we're about to destroy Germany anyway. Could get Lithuania into our faction. Are you at war with the Soviets as well? And the Germans? Sure, Lithuania, you can join. Can Poland stand against the Soviets? Well, maybe with French help. Vienna is about to be mine. Amend legislation. And here goes Germany. Now, what's my participation? 49%, which is not perfect, because France is gonna try some stuff. I suppose I could satellite some countries. We could do supervised state, but supervised states are not great. But if I did, I could get Germany on my side in any conflict. Sure, let's do a supervised state. Haven't done that in a while. Well, this is weird. Yeah, Portugal can have my ships. Germany still survived. And we have a French occupation zone and a British occupation zone, which means I can call them into a war anytime I want. See, I mostly did this out of curiosity. We didn't really need Germany for anything, and I haven't really done supervised states because they don't give me any factories or anything. So I want to see if they are actually useful for anything. Reduce independence. All right then, go home. I'm not joining the war with the Soviets. Can I build stuff in Germany? No, but infrastructure, yes, I can, to reduce their independence. Right, so essentially, we have a puppet who we can only call to arms, and not much else. I do have a lot of manpower. Can I use your manpower? Hungary joins the almost non-existent Axis. I cannot use their manpower. Eh, well, not a problem. We've crushed Germany mostly for the fun of crushing Germany. They still exist here. Let's switch to superior firepower and lower autonomy. Now we need to do that one more time for all of them and we can annex everybody. Germany actually is growing their autonomy quite quickly, which makes this kind of a waste, but I'm hoping to call them in to help in my upcoming civil war. So let's build some more roads in Germany. I shall keep them in check. Some garrison support from Germany. Italy attacks Kingdom of Greece. I suppose I could kill Italy, but there's no need for it really. Let's pass an increase in paid leave legislation. What's next? Trade Union Minister. Anyone useful? Not really, no. Bulgaria joins the Axis, which still exists, with Germany just in Saxon. Chamberlain passes away. Let's get Winston. New Zealand going down. Yeah, supervised states suck. Should have just taken some territory and then released them as a puppet. Or just taken territory. Oh well, it's an experiment. I want to see if it's useful to call them into my civil war. Okay, <laughs> assumed faction leadership of the Axis. Well, that does make sense. Oh, I could attack Germany again. But I don't really want to fight the Italians. Sure, Hungary, you can have my fighters. Romania flinching away from the Soviets. <laughs> Germany joined uh, the Japanese faction. You know, it, it was worth it just for that. Yugoslavia signs the pact. Don't care. And Yugoslavia is attacked by Japan, and Yugoslavia joins the Chinese United Front. Sure, makes perfect sense. What's that? There isn't support from France. No, of course not. It's my manpower. At the point that trade union minister. France is doing naval invasions of Leningrad. That almost makes me want to join in the war. Almost. Mandatory Union Days. We no longer need to delay communism. You know, the good Nancy. Well, I shouldn't have sent her to the communists. Reduce independence. And what's next? Limit conscription. Sure, let's do that. And we've reached the referendum. When we do that, we turn communist. Although I would like to annex my subjects first. Let's maybe build something in South Africa to speed it up. Just a factory or two. Full of Warsaw. Canadian independence going down. Australia and South Africa, and we can finally start the annexation. Excellent. Imperial Federation it is. Now we got the governments in exile, even though we're not part of the war. Hmm, that could be a boon. The lens cave to the Germans. Yeah, I've invested a lot and wasted that political power. That's my second or third mistake. Third, I think. Number one would be partial mobilization too early. Number two, making a supervised state. And finally, number three, either investing in the Netherlands or neglecting to follow through with that. I could even start over and not make mistakes, but I think showing 
what I did wrong can actually be useful, so you don't repeat my mistakes. Invest in some support, it's time for that. We're slowly starting the preparation for the civil war, and we can hold a referendum as soon as the Imperial Federation is in place. Oh, I missed out on Churchill's speeches. You know, we shall fight them bitches and all that. That's a pity. Imperial Federation is done. We are now the Commonwealth of Nations. Dark Red. Sadly, we did not annex Germany. I did not expect to, but still, would be nice. Time for a referendum. Boom. We become communist, and we're now the Commonwealth of Peoples. And we have a factory output guy, which is okay-ish. Yay, communism is here. Everybody prepare to go hungry, just beans and toast for you. Nothing more. Wait, isn't that what the British usually eat? France leaves faction, because I've changed ideologies, and I need some steel. France joined the Chinese faction, sure. Join China. See how not having historical allies destabilizes everything. We can now do focuses. Eliminate the upper class. How much longer until we get the civil war? 700 days. That's a long time to prepare. Actually, we have to watch out for Japan. I don't want to be fighting anybody when this happens. So if Japan starts justifying or gets a focus war goal on us, I might need to let go of Malaya. Now that we couldn't handle Japan, we could, but we're preparing for a civil war. No distractions. Now, see, what's that? Japan just fighting against us. Yeah, we're going to need to release Malaya because I don't want to fight them or defeat Japan in two years. We could do that, but I don't want to. Release British Malaya and not even as a puppet. There you go. Still counts as a justification on us? Really? Let me check what else they get to work on. No, I'm pretty sure they're doing this one. Maybe it'll disappear. Some military factories in what used to be Canada. Yeah, I should be buying from them. Let's stop that. Just like it leaves our faction. Well, I didn't really want them in there anyway. I think it's a mistake that democracies can't make normal puppets and peace deals. Belgium leaves faction as well. Not a problem. In the meantime, we go to war economy. Poland is taken and they became a Soviet subject. Right, we eliminate the upper class, which is a pity because we will lose some people, including generals. Next up, fate of the royal family. Can I still exile them to Canada if there's no Canada? Can I join the common turn? That actually might be useful. The Belgian Union, Belgium and Czechoslovakia. Yeah, and we could conquer some people. Well, never mind. The United States joined them. Don't want to fight that. Let's let everybody else fight it out. How about a military theorist? We no longer... Oh, we lost our advisors to the purge. We'll have to just make new ones. You could be the offense guy. Okay, let's do that. Miles, offense specialist. Smoke and fire. And the Swiss have joined their faction. Okay, stuff is getting really weird, see? The Belgian Union is joined by Czechoslovakia, Netherlands, Switzerland and the United States currently at war with the Axis. Uh, exile them to Canada. Canada gets something, but there is no Canada. Sure, let's do that. The Chinese United Front includes France and Yugoslavia, while Germany belongs to the Japanese faction. And we'll just sit it all out. For the good of the revolution. Let's reduce the gun production a bit, get some more artillery going. And support equipment. Don't worry, I'll get more military factories soon. And some cars. And some anti-air. Let's do logistics companies. And some more military production. Of the German independence. Problematic. Do you want some convoys? I have a thousand convoys. That should help a bit. Mexico joins the Belgian Union. I'm just gonna observe this. Well, theoretically, I could join the Comintern and get in all the action. But it's more fun to see what weird stuff they'll do. Especially since our objective is different. Let's increase our stability. We can't go this way. Might actually go with Moscow, but first let me have another look at the factions. You know what? Let's do nothing and wait for our civil war. Czechoslovakia returns southern Slovakia to Hungary. I wonder how they want to do that when it's occupied by the Soviets. Time to start preparing our forces for the civil war. Czechoslovakia capitulates. A battalion for quick deployment with just one infantry. Make lots of those. See, we want to garrison all of our empire. Let's go down to limited exports so we don't need to buy stuff anymore. I'm running out of places to build stuff in. Our position here is helping France be safe, but they're getting invaded navally by the Soviets. A thousand units in the field should be enough. I'm going to send them all over the world to garrison all of my territories. Don't forget Canada. All right, go on then. Integrated support, because why not? We have a year left. Romania seeks mediation. Sure. Push for better terms, whatever that is. Not in Transylvania. And I will have to work. Oh, Hungary is neutral. Doesn't really matter. George Orwell, socialist, noblest. That's, uh... Hmm. Let's get George. All right, switch all of those to the small template as well. And we have some troops left over from the annexation of our colonies. Ah, let's just disband those. Build more military factories. See, we finished another level of concentrated industry, so I can fill it up a bit more. Let's check the German independence. It's in check. Germany is kind of isolated with a huge army just standing there. French communists take power. Well, it took them a long, long time. And they're also at war with everybody. Yes, Portugal, you can have my ships. Let's send some more convoys to Germany. 
this is going to be our default template and we'll work off of this. Let's make it elite, duplicate it. This is going to be just infantry. Now duplicate it again. Infantry with support. We'll add recon. Oh, I don't have... Ah, damn it. I don't have army experience for this. That's a problem. Well, we'll get it on the way. Shouldn't have invested in the doctrine. Okay, so I'll be modifying the template as we go. We also need a trash template, which is going to be hmm, artillery or anti-air. Anti-air, because it has even less defense. Just anti-air, nothing else. With a trash can, save that. Now, I've read somewhere that the civil war that's going to happen to us is supposed to be unwinnable. I have never actually tried it myself, but in that context I'm going to use every trick I know to make it go smoothly. I'm going to switch everybody to the trash template. I do mean everybody. Why? Well, because the AI doesn't really switch templates, and when the civil war starts they're going to be stuck with these useless units. Let's work on the template. Now add support artillery and support entire, and we'll add more later. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary for some reason. I really have insufficient entire. Yeah, it's completely right, because I switched everyone to entire. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Let's get some more manpower. Service by requirement. We ran out of room to build stuff. I guess I'll have to build infrastructure. Netherlands capitulate to the Soviets. Oh, my puppet switched to communism. Excellent. Can even get more garrison support from them. Ten days left until the civil war starts. Five days left. Time for the second trick. And this one, actually, quite a lot of you recommended to me. So what you do is select someone you can send land lease to. In that case, we'll use our puppet. And you send all of your equipment. I do mean all of it. You can ignore small quantities. But anything significant, we're going to send out. We're going to make sure that all of the equipment we have is on its way to our subject. Convoys too. And tanks. Do we care for tanks? Sure. And we send it all out. All of this equipment. Now, in a moment, see, it will all be trapped in the land lease. We have no equipment right now. Now we wait for the civil war to start. I have never done this particular civil war, so I'm eager to see what it looks like. Especially in the colonies, because we have cores all over the world. So, let's see. Communist civil war. Union of Britain declares war on us. What does it look like? Which one are we? Are we still the red ones? Yes. Their enemy is... Oh, no. No. Did the land lease cancel? Please tell me the land lease cancelled. Okay, yes, it automatically cancelled and the equipment went back, I think. <laughs> All right. That was uh, unexpected. I didn't expect to lose my puppet. So we should get all the equipment back. Let's then pause just for one day to make sure. Yeah, we got all the equipment back. Common civil war in the Commonwealth of Peoples. Lithuania joined the Belgian Union. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. We retained control of all of India. They did take Australia and New Zealand. It's mixed in South Africa. And how about Canada? Mixed as well. However, how many troops did they take? They took the majority. Actually, they took about 75% of our troops, I think. Fortunately, they're all trash. Cancel all those orders. Halt. Don't do anything now. What we're going to do now is use the equipment we have, thanks to that trick, and switch them all to proper templates. Oh, I lost all my generals as well. Well, that sucks. Oh, some of you are cut off from supply. Generals and field marshals. Who do we have left? Almost nobody. Oh, well, we'll use what we can get. Take control of the British Isles first. Now, I wonder, where does the Union of Britain have their cores? Do they have all the same cores as I do? Let's check Canada, for example. Yes. Well, looks like I did not make enough units. We'll send reinforcements later. True Union of Britain. Yeah, right. We're the true Union of Britain. Actually, let's go straight to infantry and support. We should have enough for everybody. We're going to be much stronger this way. What else? Well, there's plenty of you here. But I do not have a foothold in Australia, which is going to be a bit of an issue. Oh, I did not research better naval invasions. Didn't think I would need that. Right, all right, that's fine. Let's try and invade an Australian port. And we can go from there. Now, can I still join the Soviet Union? Then again, if I join a faction, my enemy in the, Soviet, in the Civil War will probably join the faction as well. So let's not. Next army. Switch template. Attack from the other side. Everyone be aggressive. We need to move fast. Now, Africa. New leader. Switch template. Go fight. Who else do we have? A lot of people in India. And actually, no Civil War there. So you guys are kind of reserves. You guys can actually move to Canada and help them there. We have a port here? No. So we'll have a long way to go. Okay, so this is why it's supposed to be unwinnable. They have way more resources than I do. But I know some tricks. Now, fleet. We have retained some fleet, but they took most of it. But it should be enough for precise naval invasions for Australia and New Zealand. Just merge this. Have an admiral. Don't repair. Only engage at super uh, low risk. And relocate here. Prepare your invasion of Australia. Oh, looks like it's defended. Mostly by those trashy units, so we should be fine. Okay, attack. It's going to take a moment for them to receive reinforcements, but once they do... Oh, yeah. Having Germany was a mistake. They've just been called in as our, as our enemy. Time for some spies. 
Where is your capital? So I can decrypt you. True Union of Britain. Decrypting. Let's try and push here so we can connect our troops. It's going to be a while before they have any combat ready units because I've saddled them with all that trash. So if we move quickly this should all be nice. But since cores are everywhere I will have to invade Australia for example. That trick with the trash is really useful. See how quickly they fall because they have not switched their troops to a different template. Well, let's check on the fleet. It's gonna take you a while isn't it? Maybe I can just go straight to patrolling. How are we doing South Africa? This should be fine soon. There's a lot of Canadians here. Canada is going to be the most problematic, I think. We do have a port. And we finished here. Excellent. So we'll leave one army just in case. And the rest of you go to Canada. Do so quickly. Oh, I should do what I can to secure this port. Hmm, maybe not. We're going to get this one and connect ourselves. It's going to be easier to control, I think. And the enemy has no defense. So if we're fast, we'll be fine. British Isles secure. South Africa working on it. It's taking a while, isn't it? Canada, Australia and New Zealand. Added the template. Logistics and engineers. And yes, we do have enough for everything. Well, there's a bit of a problem with anti-air, but it will be resolved. Yes, get me the port. We got Vancouver. Are you guys on your way? Yes. Well, it's too many troops to just take Canada. Oh wait, their capital is in Australia. Is it possible that they can only deploy in Australia then? That would be very helpful. Right, where's that fleet? Here it is, launching naval invasions. If we can get a foothold, it's gonna be the end of them. Yeah, see, this is why the trash trick is so brilliant. Because the enemy has lots of troops, but they're all terrible. And the AI doesn't know that they should switch the template. Okay then, time to get Australia, and we'll deal with New Zealand afterwards. Go. Actually, I do have some troops over in India. We can use them for New Zealand. Switch templates, get over here. Plotsky survives assassination. Getting to Canada, well, it's a terribly long way, especially since we don't have a port on this side. But as long as we can actually hold a port, it will be okay. We can even attack a little bit and eliminate them once the rest of the forces arrive. Scotland, what's going on in Scotland? Ah, naval invasion. Good thing I left defenses. I should probably eliminate Ireland. See, those are new troops, they're not terrible. Probably should have left some more defenses, but it was enough. How are you doing in South Africa? Excellent. And there is some progress in Australia. It's not great, but as good as can be expected. Start preparing the naval invasion of New Zealand. Good thing we got some navy in the Civil War, otherwise this would be much more inconvenient. Alexander Darling, really? That's a Black Adder reference. I think the trash template trick is much more important than the send equipment on the land lease trick, just because of how easily we're cutting through the enemy. South Africa pretty much taken care of. Finish them off here. How is the gutter population going? Yeah, we'll need to take New Zealand and Australia too. Possibly not an island. Oh, a level. You guys ready? Yeah, let's get the navy. It's happening. Let's see if successfully or not. This civil war would really be very difficult if it wasn't for all the tricks we did. Fortunately, a pure anti-air unit is terrible at defense. Right, we got the port. Now just go south aggressively. Some reinforcements have arrived in Canada. Oh, we got the cipher. Now that is necessary, but of course I'm going to use it. There we go. South Africa taken care of, British Isles taken care of. Oh, Oh no, they actually did land. Wait, they sent more troops here. Oh right, it's a bit of an issue isn't it? They're too far to help. We should still be okay, but I need to send more troops back home. Like you guys. The problem is they actually made new useful troops and are using them for it. Infiltration taken care of. Go back to guarding ports. Got lots of troops in Canada. You, manual attack. How's Australia and New Zealand? Need some manual pushes. Hungary joined Bulgaria in a faction. Not a problem. Keep attacking. And New Zealand, almost taken. Actually, we can go down to extensive conscription. Just the template. Have some artillery. Actually, two of them. Do I have enough artillery? I do. That'll be even more firepower. Now we're getting close. Oh, well, we did take Australia. Actually, taking Canada's capital might suffice. Because Ottawa and Montreal have 20 victory points each. That is quite a lot. Australia mopped up. New Zealand completely mopped up. It pretty much leaves just Canada. Let's get some ports here for easier transports. When we get to here, that should be the end. Oh, we've got another invasion. I really need to deal with Ireland. Okay, you guys will counter that. How do you keep landing? I garrisoned the ports. Well, no matter. We'll deal with them. In other words, invade. We have no bananas. Whatever. We'll invade Belfast after this. Does mean I need to take the fleets back here. Although if we take Ottawa and Montreal before that, the invasion of Ireland might not even be necessary. Turkey joins the Japanese faction, because that makes perfect sense. Finishing up Australia. Yeah, so Canada will be the last holdout, or Ireland. Crush them. The invasion of Belfast. Patrol the sea, and we're good to go against Ireland. Is it defended? Well, it is defended by trash units, so not really. Oh, they actually have proper infantry templates here, not just the trash units. Oh right, that's more difficult. How about we try and get some more ports in the area so I can easily land more forces. Whoops, they brought their fleet. Sent in some more troops. So how are we doing in Canada? Slowly. I think the template is pretty good, but it wasn't really necessary. Go on, move faster. 
Sadly, they are actually defending their port with proper units. How did you get proper units? Australia taken, with one small exception. How far from capitulation are you? One major victory point. Ah, right, of course. The proper units were not their units, they were German units. Now, that makes perfect sense. Traitorous Germany helped our enemy. Just stay here until you build the port. You actually managed to make defenses. Attack a bit more. Setting some more troops here. The port is ready, isn't it? Yeah, not sure why I don't see it on the map, but it is here. Okay, go. When you take Belfast, that will be sufficient. And we've decrypted their cipher. Ideal way to finish them off. Crush Belfast. And it's ours. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Union of Britain is taken care of. I could now properly puppet the Germans, but they had their chance. No more chances. Take everything. Old land and all the ships. Thank you, Commonwealth of Peoples. The Civil War would have been almost impossible if it wasn't for the proper tricks that we used. And that's it. Now I admit, we did lose quite a lot of time doing the Civil War and preparing for it. We could have conquered the world in that time. Let's have a look at the state of the world. We have the Belgian Union, which is mostly America. We have Weak Axis, Chinese United Front, and the Comintern. Oh right, and the Japanese. I think our best course of action would be to join the Comintern and take out the Chinese United Front and then the Axis. Afterwards, we could deal with others. But that was not the scope of this video. The scope of this video was to go communist, decolonize, and survive the Civil War. So that's it for today. We're gonna end it here. Make sure to vote for your favorite video topics in the comments, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.